Hello and welcome back to the video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make some peanut butter power balls. So first thing we'll start off with is PB Fit. And with the PB Fit, we're gonna use three servings of this, 48 grams. One serving is 70 calories, two tablespoons. So we're gonna use six tablespoons or 48 grams. Next up, you'll want to add some water and get that mixed up. You just want to add a little bit of water at a time. Just to get it mixed to the point where it's like some peanut butter. After that, we're going to be using some Jif peanut butter, and I'm going to use a serving and a half. Two tablespoons is a serving, 33 grams, so we're going to use three tablespoons And that's going to come out to 49 and a half, 49.5 grams is how much peanut butter we're going to use. Next up, what we'll use is quick oats. I'm just using the regular 100% whole grain quick oats, great value. Uh, one serving is 140 calories, 40 grams. I'm gonna use 60 grams, so a serving and a half. Next up, what we'll be using is flaxseed. And I'm gonna do one serving of the flaxseed, which is 30 grams. Flaxseed gives you all your healthy fats in it. Um, the poly and the mono. Uh, plus it has some good fiber in it, eight grams of fiber, plus the peanut butter. So it's all the your healthy, good fats that you want is definitely going into these. Next, it's optional. You don't have to, but to add a little bit more sweetness to this, I add about five grams of Splendo or Stevia. And then to add a 
add some protein here. I'm just using a vanilla cream. I'm using a casing. Uh, you can use regular if you want to use regular. Um, the casing is just going to make it a lot thicker. Casing is a thicker protein. This one has 120 calories per scoop. 33 grams is a scoop. And I'm going to be using one and a half scoops of the casing protein. all this together it's going to be very thick <clears throat> so you're definitely gonna probably have to add some water to it but you want it thick enough so you can actually form these into little balls. So don't add much water. thicker than a batter because you want to be able to take this out and form these into little peanut butter balls Just add a little bit of water at a time. And if you're not using a casing, you'll probably need less water because it's not as thick as your casing protein. but you want it pretty thick because what you'll do is put this in the fridge, let it sit for about an hour. Then after that, you'll take it out and you're gonna add, we're gonna add a little bit of honey and the honey is gonna help it so you can form it a little bit better into the power balls. So, don't go crazy with the water. I had to add a little bit extra because it is casing. But it's still pretty dry. I'll let this sit for about an hour in the fridge, bring it out, go over the macros, add the honey. So we'll be back after I let this sit. Right, so it's been about an hour. I've had it in the fridge. Next thing we'll do is add, you can use um, regular honey. I'm using sugar-free imitation honey. I just don't want the extra sugar. Um, 21 grams is one serving, 50 calories. So we'll add 
add 21 grams in here. And that's gonna give you the extra little bit to get this stuff to form. Now you get your hands dirty. Just go in there and really mix this stuff together. bit of honey should really help to get this stuff so you can form it but these little power balls are very nice to have on the go in the morning afternoon you keep them in the fridge really have them anytime you want they're already pre-made just a nice little snack whenever you want them you make them whatever size you want but I like to try to get at least 10 to 10 to 12 I'm gonna go ahead and keep doing that. And I'll probably make up about uh, 10 or so, depending on how many or how big I make them or not. But I'll go ahead and break down the macros for you. You were going to make it exactly like I made it. It would come out to 1,110 calories. You'd have 96.5 grams of carbs in this, 48.3 grams of fat, 84.5 grams of protein. But all this fat is very healthy fat. It's good fat that you do want. Um, out of those carbs, 26 of that is fiber. So quite a bit of fiber in this. Quite a bit of the healthy fats in this. 10.5 of the, the poly and 4 grams of the mono. And a hefty amount of protein. So thank you guys again for watching my videos. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Hit the bell button to be notified of any new videos that come out. And you guys have a great day.